In the dense forest of Flores, an island in the southeastern region of Indonesia, there existed a mysterious member of the hominid lineage. Until approximately 50,000 years ago, a species of miniature humans known as Homo floresiensis, dubbed the Hobbit people, called this place home. Their fossils were first unearthed in 2003 at the Liangbua Cave, and they stood at just over a meter tall. And then, almost inexplicably, their presence suddenly vanished from the fossil record. The cause of their extinction has remained a mystery. Initially, it was assumed that the arrival of modern humans, or Homo sapiens, led to their extinction. However, new research paints a different picture, one where other, more catastrophic factors, rather than direct competition, sealed the fate of the Hobbit humans. The discovery of Homo floresiensis was nothing short of groundbreaking. In 2003, archaeologists unearthed the partial skeleton of a small hominin at Liangbua Cave. This discovery sparked debates and fascination. These hominins were unique in many ways. Despite their small stature, they exhibited a blend of primitive and advanced traits. Their brain size was estimated at approximately 380 cubic centimeters. This was comparable to that of a chimpanzee, yet evidence suggested they crafted tools and hunted cooperatively. They essentially displayed cognitive capabilities that belied their cranial volume. The origins of Homo floresiensis remain a subject of debate. Some researchers propose that they descended from Homo erectus, an early human species that arrived in Southeast Asia nearly two million years ago. Over millennia, isolation on Floris likely led to their diminutive size. This is a phenomenon also known as insular dwarfism, which is commonly observed in other island species. These species, like Homo floresiensis, adapted to their restricted island environments by shrinking in size to cope with limited resources. Others speculate that they might represent an even earlier lineage of hominins, perhaps a relic population of Australopithecus found on Wrangel Island. Regardless of their origins, H. floresiensis coexisted with other creatures on Flores, including giant storks, Komodo dragons, and Stegodon, a genus of dwarf elephants. The archaeological record reveals that Homo floresiensis inhabited Liangbua for at least 190,000 years. Theirs was an environment adequate in resources. However, their story takes a turn around 50,000 years ago when they vanished from the fossil record. Initially, this disappearance was attributed to the arrival of Homo sapiens, who were thought to have outcompeted or directly displaced the hobbits. The true cause, however, remained unknown. To solve the mystery of H. floresiensis's disappearance, researchers turned to paleoclimatic evidence. They reconstructed ancient weather patterns by analyzing the isotopic composition of rocks and sediments near Liangbua. Their studies revealed that there were significant shifts in rainfall and temperature over thousands of years. From about 76,000 to 50,000 years ago, Flores experienced a steady decline in annual rainfall, which was accompanied by increased seasonality. These changes had massive implications for the island's ecosystem, particularly its water-dependent species. The Stegodon, the aforementioned genus of dwarf elephants, was a critical source of sustenance for Homo floresiensis. It was also among the hardest hit by these climatic shifts. As rainfall dwindled, waterholes and rivers began to dry up, which of course reduced the availability of fresh water and vegetation. By 50,000 years ago, annual rainfall had plummeted to just 430 millimeters, or 17 inches. This created a dire situation for both Stegodon and their human predators. The shrinking water resources forced the elephants to congregate around the few remaining waterholes, which in turn made them more vulnerable to overhunting by the hobbits. The researchers proposed two grim scenarios to explain the intertwined fates of H. floresiensis and Stegodon. In the first scenario, the dwarf elephants remained near Liangbua despite the worsening conditions, which caused them to eventually succumb to dehydration and overhunting. With their primary food source gone, the hobbits were left without the sustenance needed to survive, which led to their gradual extinction. In the second scenario, the Stegodon migrated to coastal regions in search of more reliable water sources. This move into unfamiliar territory presented new challenges, including changes in vegetation and potential predators. Following their prey, H. floresiensis may have also ventured into these new areas where they encountered hazards such as novel diseases, competition with other species, and perhaps even contact with Homo sapiens. Although the evidence suggests that Homo sapiens did not directly cause the extinction of Homo floresiensis, 
The possibility of interaction cannot be entirely dismissed. Modern humans are thought to have reached Oceania, including the vicinity of Flores around 60,000 years ago. If they encountered the hobbits, the nature of these interactions remains speculative. Did they compete for resources? Could there have been cultural exchanges or even conflict? Or did the two species merely coexist briefly before the environmental pressures overwhelmed the hobbits? These questions remain unanswered. The extinction of Homo floresiensis shows just how many factors there are that determine the survival or extinction of species. While modern humans often bear responsibility for driving other hominins and many other species to extinction, this scenario is one of the few in which we come out as relatively blameless. Instead, it is environmental factors and ecological pressures that ultimately sealed the fate of these hominins. Further research is needed to gain more understanding of the hobbit humans. To date, fossils of Homo floresiensis have only been found primarily at the Liang Bua cave site, including skeletal remains, tools, and evidence of fire use. However, there is the possibility of uncovering additional fossils at other sites on Flores or nearby islands. This could provide further information on their behavior, diet, and interactions with other species. For instance, exploring other sites on Flores may reveal additional evidence of their behavior, However, the story is not entirely closed. While the study focuses on Liangbua, which is the only place to date where Homo floresiensis has been discovered, it doesn't rule out the possibility that some hobbits may have survived elsewhere on Flores for a longer period. Further research, including exploration of other potential hobbit sites on the island, is needed to fully understand the extent of their distribution and the precise timeline of their extinction. Advances in genetic analysis could also provide new insights into their evolutionary relationship with modern humans and other archaic hominins, such as the Denisovans and Neanderthals. Ultimately, while the hobbit humans may no longer walk the earth, their legacy endures through the questions they inspire and the knowledge we gain from studying their existence. As research progresses, we may yet discover more about their lives, their struggles, and their place in the story of human evolution. And that wraps up our journey into the fascinating world of Homo floresiensis, the hobbit humans of Flores. Their story is a testament to the complexity of our planet's history and a reminder of how much there still is to learn about the incredible diversity of life that came before us. If you enjoyed this exploration and want to dive into more captivating mysteries of science, history, and human evolution, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on our latest discoveries and deep dives into the past. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the fate of the hobbits? Could they have crossed paths with our ancestors? Drop a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next adventure.